Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down quite a wacky weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the upcoming week, and this will bring some extreme heat to part of the country. Meanwhile, other areas will be dealing with a lot of beneficial rainfall. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today, and we'll first begin with the West Coast, and this this is quite an interesting area right now. We do have a low pressure system that's spinning around Northwest California, and this is pulling up moisture out of the Pacific Ocean, allowing for some monsoonal weather to continue across parts of the four corner states. This is going to allow actually for a flooding risk over the next couple days, and maybe even a little bit of isolated severe weather, including maybe some damaging winds and perhaps maybe some sporadic hail, but a little bit of an interesting setup here. And this is really stationary because of the heat that we still have ongoing across the rest of the United States. As of right now there is a lot of dry conditions that span from the northeast all the way back through the southern plains and this heat really is not going to go much of anywhere it is going to ramp up this weekend some areas in the midwest could get as high as 100 degrees so it'll be very warm this weekend make sure you're aware of signs of heat stroke because that will definitely be possible this weekend with how hot it'll be across the midwest and as well as the great plains and then back down the southeast united states notice the storm activity that's happening today you might be thinking is this another tropical disturbance no it's not a tropical disturbance it's just a little upper level disturbance that's currently impacting the southeast united states it's bringing some showers some storms but again nothing too crazy right now over there and then back over in canada we do have a low pressure system that's moving west to east this is not really pulling that much moisture so we're not going to really see any severe weather out of that but again it's just a little disturbance bring some showers and storms the better chance of any severe weather during this time of the year would come from like a low pressure system coming from the rocky mountains and moving north because it would have a much better chance of pulling moisture but we don't have that happening right now so i just want to give it kind of give you a little bit of perspective of what's happening right now we're not really looking at any substantial severe weather at least for the next few days and before we talk about this wacky weather pattern i do want to talk about the tropics because there are a couple of interesting areas to be watching for one could impact the united states down the road but right now over in the northern and central atlantic ocean notice this huge area of tropical systems we have two post-tropical cyclones one of which is a dahlia which will actually become a tropical storm again not post-tropical it'll become a tropical storm again and back over to your Franklin that is also now post tropical sustained winds around 80 miles per hour Jose and Franklin will both combine here over the next 48 hours and that'll be obviously very interesting basically got the Bermuda Triangle going right now with this area and also tropical storm Gert is still happening still going none of those are expected to impact the United States so Italy even probably not going to impact land it will loop back probably toward Nova Scotia but overall no impacts again expected for the United States as at least as of right now back over in the eastern Atlantic Ocean this is the area that I'll be watching for very very, very closely because this could actually pose the threat of a hurricane perhaps long tracked as it goes toward areas like the lesser Antilles and perhaps into the western Atlantic Ocean it's gonna be something to really watch out for very closely also we have tropical depression 12 that is formed that is also expected to become a tropical storm so which by the way will not impact the United States but again we have really about five active systems here in the Atlantic Ocean here's a Dahlia again it is gonna be impacting Bermuda as a tropical storm sustained winds at 50 miles per hour so again it is still on the stronger side of things but overall nothing too crazy huge wind field by the way look at this wind field that is all tropical storm force winds pretty large area that's pretty much the entire new england region in terms of the wind field again this will move off to the north over the next few days it will weaken to a tropical depression as it goes toward nova scotia again no significant impacts are expected there as of right now and this is the entire atlantic basin over the next several days saturday into sunday again notice the dahlia as it moves off to the north it'll be going toward nova scotia it will kind of loop around a lot bring some showers and storms Storms, but again nothing too crazy there franklin jose moving off to the north and northeast they'll again both combine watch this area very closely this is 12 moving out to sea back over though near africa that's where we'll be watching for the threat of a potential for a tropical storm or hurricane to start to ramp up as we go later into this upcoming week notice this is september 9th look where this is by then again this is very far out things are subject to change by far especially since we're talking around 200 hours out but this will definitely be something to watch out for because the european model it's been pretty pretty accurate so far this hurricane season it brings it to a pretty strong hurricane so we have to watch this very closely by no means as of right now this will impact the united states but it will be something to watch out for over the long term because again we are at the peak of hurricane season and something like this is definitely not out of the question at this point now let's talk more about the jet stream here across the united states because we do have a pretty wacky weather pattern here coming to the united states over the next several days which includes a lot of heat so as of right now in the upper levels we do have a pretty strong ridge that's in place this is the jet stream so it's lifted 
pretty far off to the north and west. This is a big low pressure system over on the west coast that's bringing some showers and storms to the four corner states. Now, as we go into Sunday into Monday, notice things do not really change a whole lot. We're going to continue to see this ridge. It actually will move to the east. So this will allow for that cranking with the Dahlia to actually come a bit further off to the north and west. And that's why there is some thought that it might impact parts of eastern New England with at least some rainfall, maybe some gusty winds, but nothing too far beyond that. And then notice where the jet stream is by then. That's where the jet stream is lifted far off to the north. Low pressure system continues to sit over there in the western part of the United States. You know, we are monsoon season through our early September. And eventually, as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll start to see some showers and storms likely to ramp up in the Midwest as we go closer to the mid to late week. And the reason why is because we'll have a low pressure system basically going over the Rocky Mountains and into parts of the Midwest. And this is a pretty favorable area for severe weather to start to ramp up. So we'll have to watch this closely as we go in the mid to late week because there is going to be a chance for sub severe weather in the Midwest, but overall not too favorable for a severe weather outbreak at this time. Once we go into Thursday to Friday of next week, things do get a lot more uncertain, but the heat really at this point is not really going anywhere. So unfortunately, no strong cold fronts coming across the United States. No big cool downs, unfortunately, as of right now. So with that being said, this is the temperature anomalies. And again, heat is going to continue. We'll be watching for record breaking heat in the Midwest. That is where this wacky weather pattern is going to go down. It's going to be very hot. Pretty dry overall, but there will be a chance for some precipitation as we go into next week. I'll show you that here in just a second. And then as we go into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, heat moves out. That's when we could have some showers and storms and maybe a brief cool down in the Midwest. But as of right now, long-term forecast not showing really any signs of relief for the rest of the United States. Temperatures on Sunday, again, record-breaking highs, very possible in the Midwest and as well as the Northern Plains with high temperatures as high as 100 degrees near Minneapolis. It's going to be very hot. And the Climate Prediction Center is on board with this as well well above average temperatures are possible across a large chunk of the United States with the most likely area to see that in parts of the southern plains and as well as into the northeast where those brighter colors do represent the better chance of seeing above average temperatures and then going from the 9th until the 15th of this month so basically all the way through the mid month there's really no signs of any cool downs it's going to be pretty warm across the United States with record breaking ocean temperatures as well not helping this at all and overall for the next several days again it's going to stay dry for the most part in the United States a little upper level disturbance could continue to bring some tropical showers near the coastline. Again, we're not going to really see anything too far beyond that, though. By Tuesday into Wednesday, this is when I'm talking about the threat of maybe some severe weather in parts of the Midwest. We're still multiple days out, so things are very well subject to change. But as of right now, it does look like there will at least be some chances of some showers and storms, maybe some severe weather. And then by next weekend, again, things very uncertain by then, but more precipitation in the same exact area will be possible by then. For the precipitation between now until the 8th, that is for the next week, we're looking at mainly the areas of seeing the rain back over in parts of the Midwest, back near the Gulf Coast, and then all the way back into the Northeast, some showers and storms, and as well as back into parts of the Western tier of the United States, with some areas seeing as much as three to four inches of rain, which by the way, could prompt some concerns for flooding over the next 48 hours. So definitely make sure you're staying weather aware there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.